click clack, click clack. What's going so yeah. taking you so long? Thank you, Mr. Marston. I should be Thank boiling you. in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Mission complete. I'm not done with you. Prodigal son returns to Yale. Good. Professor! Get out of here. I don't want you here. Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. Do you know, do you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking nope. savages. Savages. So sure, give me your bow tie. Me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Connecticut. That's not far from here, where I live. Maybe I'll go visit him. Oh my god, stop it, you druggy. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh. oh great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, nope. Dutch? Oh, damn it. You got pajama shirt I think on. That's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. I don't think so. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Just stick to football. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. Bullshit. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you... Kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology. Pizza, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across <laughs> the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So much. We're still here. Come on. Finally, Marston's giving it some comedic timing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. <laughs> you can continue. Uh, Come on. Eggman. We can get to the roof this way. Whatever your name is. The hell? Who the hell is that? Who the hell was that? Do something! He's going to kill me! What? Stay back! Where the teacher gets it! My oh. you took your sweet time! Damn right it did. I still want to know who the hell that ghost guy that was following me was. Certainly sure wasn't me. Was it my stunt double? I don't. Sorry. I don't 
Nuts, stomach, whatever. Shoulder. Arm. Come on then, let's make a break for it. Ladders, where we're going, we don't need ladders. No, get off. Damn it. Just trying to make a jump. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Albino butt, you devolved. Come on, let's get the hell Blasphemy. out of this black water. Easy. Right to the station. I'm not staying in this place a minute longer. This really couldn't okay. have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, right. I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. Just let me go! The hell? What are you... Who are you yelling at, you crazy? Oh. I can't believe Done. Go. Pardon. Like I'm not king. sure I can just yet. Here we are. Finally. The one way ticket to civilization, please. Excellent. We are nearing <sighs> the My end. My research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Sorry, Nara. Don't hug me. Best of luck to your friend. Oh, now you're fine. You're crazy. So long, Professor. So long, sir. I hope you get shot. You're druggy. Hundred bucks. Still broke. While I'm at it. Um. Here's a. Yeah, take that. Um, I'm, I'm not a wanted man. I wrote that myself. 
Hey. Parkour horse! Parkour horse is back! Parkour horse has risen from the dead. Reborn! Parkour! Alright. And you will know the truth. Great. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? I'm gonna kill you. You're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? <sighs> Spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you, oh boy? It's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. Sounds like a prophet. With him. He's a goddamn killer. So what? Now. Uh, so am I. I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. What's easy? You see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? <laughs> the alternative Shooting you because you're bad. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. Sure, civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Yeah. Well, Good job. Good logic. You know, contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderman to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall I we, I think Mr. you're crazier Marston? than Dutch. Let's go. Psycho over here. Oh. Watch out. Got a new bad boy. 